In this video, I will show you how you can use Llama 3.1 model using Grok. It is an open source platform. You can create your free API keys and you can use Llama 3.1 in just few minutes. So in Google, first I will type here Grok. You will see this first result. Grok is fast AI inference and you will need an API key. It is completely free. You see this option here, API keys here, you have to click here. And if you have not logged in, you just have to use your Gmail account. It will take only one or two minutes to sign up. And then you can click on this create API key to create your API. And before that, I will just show you in Llama index how you can use it. So type Llama index grok and you can click on this first link grok here so first you will need to install the library and you can just simply copy this pip install llama index llms.grok and copy this in cmd so i will just copy it from here i'll open a cmd and then i will just right click and you will have to remove this percentage symbol from here press enter and this will start downloading grok for you so let's wait for a minute and i am sure that you have already installed llama index and if you have it then you can even click this pip install llama index copy it from here and paste it in your command prompt so it says that requirement is already satisfied because it is already installed in my machine. I'll just close it. So once this installation is done, we'll get back to Grok Cloud and we will create API key. You have to click here, create API key and name this. Maybe I'll just write here, Llama Index Demo. You can give any name, click Submit and you get your API key. You have to make sure that you do not share your API key with anyone. After this tutorial, I'm going to delete this API key, so no need to worry about it. Then you have to click on this done. Or let me keep this as it is for now. I'll go to my notebook here, and first I'm going to import from llama index dot LLMs dot grog. import grok and then I will import OS then from get pass import get pass this is to hide API keys while storing it publicly and then I will create a variable where I'm going to store this API key and that will be named as grok underscore api underscore key and then i will call this get pass and if i go back here i will copy this key from here and let me press enter and now i will put the api key here so i've set the api keys now now in just one line of code you will be able to use llama 3.1 so i will write here llm and then grok inside this you have to pass the parameter model and you have to give model that you want to use if i go back to this grok i'll close on this done and then you can click on this playground and when you come on this page or maybe you can click on this documentation now you will see this models option here click on this models and whatever model is supported by this grok you will see it here so we have this gamma then gamma 7 billions llama 3 grok 70 billions llama 3 and this is llama 3.1 billion parameter and then we have this llama 3.1 70 billion and llama 3.1 8 billion parameter let's use this one so this is the model name you can copy it from here and then let's go to the notebook and you will paste it here 
you paste it here and then you have to pass your api key api key is equal to this one where we have set our api keys i'll pass this here close this and press enter or let me print this llm so here it has created our llm and you get information about this llm what api keys it is using so this is the api key and then you will get this model information model lama 3.18 billion so you have created this llm using lama 3.1 and now you can start questioning so let me make one variable response and then i will call this llm from this i will call the method complete and i can ask any question now let me write one question what are the places to visit in india and let me print this response so if you are from outside india you will come to know what are the places you can come and visit here i will print this response and you see i got a complete places list which i can visit in india so you see india is a vast and diverse country with a rich history culture and natural beauty here are some of the top places to visit in india so first one is historical and cultural sites taj mahal it is in city agra state uttar pradesh red fort in new delhi which is the capital of the city of india qutub minar new delhi hampi karnataka varanasi uttar pradesh it is one of the oldest cities in the world and a major hindu pilgrimage site so you see these are the historical places that you can come and visit in india then about natural wonders goa beaches himalayas andaman and nicobar islands run of kutch then these are the spiritual and pilgrimage sites golden temple bodhgaya ummela vaishno devi and the these are the wildlife and national parks cities and markets so these are the cities that you can visit mumbai delhi bangalore chennai jaipur and these are the festivals that are celebrated in india diwali holi navratri onam pushkar so you see you get a list of details about india you can come and visit and you get a handful of information you can ask any other question as well so you see how easy it is to use lama 3.1 using this drop you just have to set your api key and then pass the model that you want to use and you can start writing your questions and ask questions and then we can also have we can also see one more thing call chat with a list of messages so let me write this call chat with a list of messages now for this first i will import from lama index dot core dot llms import chat message and then i will define messages here so this will take a list or i will create a list here and then inside this list i will have chat message so this will help you to chat with system and in chat message we will have two role one is going to be system and the one is user so for first we will define role role is equal to system so this we will get from system or your computer or your laptop and content we will ask the system or we will tell the system that you are a pirate with a colorful personality so this is the system and we are telling the system that you are a pirate with a colorful personality and now we are going to ask or we are going to chat with the system so i will close uh, this one or uh, let me do one thing okay i will close this here and then i will define a new chat message ch 
chat message and this time for user so role is going to be user now that is you or i and content what question i'm going to ask what is your name and then that's it i will close this okay now i will make a variable response i will call this llm from this i will call chat and then i will call this messages here and then let me print this response and here i got the output so let me first explain you this i am defining the role of system and user role is nothing but your computer or machine and user is me or you so what we are doing here is we are asking this system what is your name and this system is a pirate with a colorful personality and when we ask name to the system we get the response that mihati me name be captain black peak billy the most feared pirate to ever sail the seven seas me and me crew the mavericks revenge have been plundering and for nights on 20 years and we have got the treasure to prove it me ship and so on so you see we got a result here and you can ask anything else maybe what is your age and let us execute this code again so it says my age may be a mystery but i will let you in on a little secret i be a young pirate but me years be many and so on so on so you can chat with the system you can give your questions and you will get response so you see that how easy it is to use llama 3.1 using raw in our next tutorial we will see how we can create rack using this grok and llama 3.1 i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching